Hello, today we are going to take a look at the Entity View Action Mapper, uh, which is a new application in Quebec. Uh, we're going to call it EVAM for short. Uh, we're going to look at creating an EVAM data resource uh, in UI Builder. So let's go ahead and look at configuring an EVAM definition. So I'm going to go to EVAM definitions and then click new. And I'm going to name uh, this record, and so my app is called Simple To Do, so we're just going to call this uh, Simple To Do, and I'm going to change the sort order. So let's save that. Uh, and then I've got a couple of related lists that we're going to use uh, on this. So the first one is uh, this data source. So I'm going to create a link, and this is where I'm telling uh, my EVAM definition where to get its data from. Uh, and this is going to be from my Simple To Do table. Uh, I could create multiple data sources, uh, but for this use case, we only have the one. I'm going to give it a condition where I want the user to be me. So we're going to look up to do's for the logged in user, and I'm going to sort by due date instead of created. So let's submit. That's all we have to do with the data source. You could add multiple data sources. They don't have to be related at all. That's the, the power of EVAM here. Uh, you know, normally I could, you know, report on the task table and get a lot of extended tables, but we don't even need to do that. Um, here. So I could add, you know, maybe I have a totally different to-do app or, you know, this to-do app is not extended from task. I could add some tasks to this as well. Uh, and then uh, in this next step is where I tell, uh, you know, I tell my EVAM, okay, you have your data. Here's how you map and display that data. So I'm going to uh, create and, li and link a view config bundle. Uh, so we're going to call this simple to do VCB for view config bundle. Let's submit that and open it up. And I've got that. And uh, this is where I can add uh, multiple view configs. Uh, so a view config is going to say, uh, let's call this uh, simple to do VC and we'll point this at my simple to do table. Uh, so again, my, I can have multiple data sources coming in and the view config is going to look at a single piece of data and say, you know, does it meet these conditions? And if it does apply this view to it. So, you know, if I had uh, records coming in from different tables, uh, I could have multiple view configs that would say, oh, this is an incident, let's show the incident like this, or hey, this is a to-do, let's show it like this. For our use case, we only have to-dos coming in, uh, so I'm not even going to add conditions here. Uh, the other important thing here is to add our fields. Uh, so this is we're going to tell our view template, you know, here are the fields uh, that we want you uh, to, uh, to use. So we've got name, due date, state, and then I'm going to use a couple of things off the user table. And one of them is the avatar. So this is the, you know, the user's picture. And then the other one is the name. And I'm going to use all of these things in my view template. Uh, so let's save this guy. Uh, and we're going to create and link uh, an action. So I'm going to want to, we're going to display this data as cards in UI Builder, and I'm going to want to be able to click on a card and go somewhere. So we're going to call this navigation. Uh, navigation, I spelled that right. And uh, this is going to be uh, shown in UI Builder. Uh, whenever you see UXF in, um, in ServiceNow here, uh, we're talking about the user experience framework, which also could be called now experience framework. Uh, so whenever you see UXF, we're probably talking about UI Builder. Uh, the client action I want is navigation. There are a number of other client actions uh, in there that uh, you can take a look at. So we're going to submit that. And then uh, one last thing I need to do is I need to specify a view template. Uh, so this is where you will do your mapping. <clears throat> so let's call this uh, simple whoop, to do VT. Uh, so this is probably the most complex uh, part of this uh, because we're going to have to specify this 
uh, view template in, uh, in JSON. Uh, but the nice thing is uh, it gives me uh, a template uh, for my JSON that I can use. Uh, so again, this is where we are. Um, the template is what tells uh, my EVAM how to do its mapping. Uh, so the M and in EVAM stands for, for mapping. Uh, so we're going to map the data that we get in uh, to a place on our card. Uh, and I already have this uh, due to the magic of a demo. Uh, so you can see in here we've got uh, some values like detail label 1, detail label 2. These are going to be on the bottom corners of the card. Uh, we have a title and then we're using that username and user avatar here. Uh, so we're using all of these values uh, from that fields um, list field that we selected earlier. So I'm going to hit submit. And we're going to save that. And this should be uh, good to go. So we are ready to hop over to UI Builder and use this in an EVAM data resource. All right, so the first thing that I am going to do before I actually use this in an EVAM data resource, uh, I am going to add a handled event to my page uh, because that's how we're going to make the navigation work. And uh, to do that, uh, this is documented, uh, but it is not the most obvious thing in the world. Uh, I have body selected here, so this is where we are uh, in my page content tree. Uh, and if I go over to events, uh, the events for body, uh, look uh, look a little, um, you know, there's a little more here than other places you might uh, click on. And I want to create a handled event. So this handled event is going to be called uh, open to do, because that's what we're going to do with it. And it's going to have a payload. Uh, let's just call it sysid. And we'll give it a label, sure. Let's hit add. All right, so we've added that handled event and we now have uh, another uh, page event mapping up here. So I have open to do, I already had page ready so I could do something when the page is ready, um, but we're going to add an event handler now. So when this handled event uh, is consumed or fired, uh, we want to link to a destination. And I already have a page uh, for to-dos, and uh, we are going to link this uh, by saying that payload.sysid. So remember, sysid was the uh, was the name of the one of our, our parts of the payload that we want to add. So I'm going to hit OK, and we will go ahead and hit Add. So now we know when uh, this open to do handled event is fired, it's going to link to this new page. So now we're ready to go ahead and uh, add our EVAM to the page. I'm going to go ahead and save because uh, I like to save early and often. So let's add an EVAM data resource. I'm going to grab my EVAM. I think it's this guy. Uh, and one of my favorite parts of UI Builder is this preview pane uh, where I can see the data I'm getting back uh, real time here. Uh, this looks correct. I think that's right. Uh, you have some options here, like you can handle paging and which uh, page you want to your data set to start at, um, filtering, uh, but right now we're just going to grab all of the data here. So the next thing I'm going to do is add a new component, and this is going to be a data set component. And let's give ourselves some more room here. So I have my data set component. Uh, in the config here, we're going to just call this my to do's. And then for the data, oh, we are going to grab my data, evam data resource. Right now, it is showing as a list. Uh, I want, let's start this as cards. 
and then I'm going to get rid of this toggle and then I also want to hide that filter. So these are all properties on my component and uh, all this data looks right. Uh, these are the five to do's I have. Uh, it's showing my avatar and my name. It's showing the due date and the state. Uh, so I think this has all happened correctly. The one last thing we need to do is I want to be able to click on these and go somewhere. Uh, so I'm going to configure this declarative action event mapping. So I'm going to click on this. Uh, if I had not created that handled event on the page, it would tell me, hey, you need a handled event before you can do this. Uh, so we know based on navigation, which is what I uh, what I set up in that uh, EVAM definition, uh, we are going to let's call this new event mapping. We're going to call this open to do, and then the sys ID is going to be the payload dot sys ID. So let's hit save. Done. Uh, I think uh, I think this is going to work. Uh, let's hit save and then let's test it. Let's do, how about make a video? And then make a video. This was the right uh, the right one. And that was uh, configuring an EVAM definition and then consuming it inside of UI Builder.